That's what you want to do. Be happy. How are you feeling? Welcome back to Full Circle with Wikali sending you those happy vibes. Just take them. It's the last day of the month and that is it. And I told you guys at the beginning of the show, I'm super excited. Starting tomorrow is birthday month. Oh. But in the meantime, please tell us what your highlights have been for this month and what you're looking forward to for the rest of the month before we get into the new year. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Right now, though, it's Wednesday. You know how we do. It's time for Relationship Circle. Personality coach Mac Mbogor is in the building. Woo, <laughs> because, <laughs> because we are happy. <laughs> we are very happy. So just so you know, we were dancing during the break to that song. And uh, I have to admit, I have mm, left feet when it comes on compared to my, Mac is way, way, way. My moves. <laughs> but Can it's birthday month, so we have yes. to do something. I have to have a gift and a routine. So we'll work on Ooh. that. Okay. okay. I put myself on the spot. Yes. <laughs> on national television. <laughs> Karibu sana. Asante sana. How's your week been? It's been good. Mm -hmm. uh, just working out things, but everything is fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Today, we are talking about the closet. This is yes. a sensitive issue. It is. Sisi kila mutu tukonayo. Mahali. Tuata kama unaipanga chini. Mahali unapanga kwa box. Kama zako ni drawers. Kama ukona hangers. Closet, whatever it is, mm -hmm. we have a closet. Malit nekango zetu. And I don't know <clears throat> what that means, how you do it, what, how does that relate to your personality? And that is what Mike is here to tell us about today. Yes, profoundly. Because, um, you know, the closet or the wardrobe is one of the most personal spaces. Yeah. And we are looking at a lot today, Mwikali, in terms of, you know, there's a chart of about 34,000 emotions that revolve around the closet space. That's why it's really profound. 34 or more? 34,000. <laughs> Emotions. Emotions. I have three rooms full of clothes. <laughs> I think it's 34,000 <laughs> times three. Today we'll look into that because <sighs> there's a huge sort of intelligence we are looking for there. And that's the emotional intelligence, okay. which is also for our viewers, it's EQ. Okay. We are not looking at your IQ as we know it, intelligence quotient, mm -mm. but you, you shouldn't be surprised because some companies have really gone deep into this. Don't be even surprised when a company, you're filling a company questionnaire asking you how you organize your clothes because they are looking for managerial skills. They are looking for organization skills. So today I want our viewers to know that precisely it's not how you dress. No. that impresses personality because that's where the focus has been what your clothes say about your personality today it's not about that there's a lot of content around that space what makes full circle with Mikali special today mm -hmm. is we are talking about how you organize your clothes in the closet or in the wardrobe okay. so we look into those 34,000 emotions to just, I'm just gonna break it down okay. into about four or five okay. to really represent the rest it's simply because per day, Mwikali, we have about 70,000 thoughts per day. 70,000 thoughts. Thoughts per day, statistically speaking. So that's on a good day. That's on a normal day. Because sometimes it feels like it's... <laughs> it's a lot, it's, right? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a yeah, lot. Yeah, if that's... 70. 70,000 thoughts per day, stati statistically wow. speaking. So either on a good day or a bad day, the key word is how you organize these thoughts okay so before we talk about mental health we are looking at emotional health oh. so in a nutshell viewers when we are trying to debunk or decode today when we open your closet or wardrobe we are looking at how you organize those thoughts that's why when you began the show and said to some people it's actually they have this cluster of clothes mm. you know it's like you have to kind of dodge these critters in the bedroom eh? it's like you have these uh, potholes in your bedroom <laughs> that you're trying to kind of <laughs> dodge here and there and and if you look closely at those cluttered clothes yeah. some people really merge in the clothes they fold them they are re little sort of um, clothes packed up together and when you enter into some people's closets you are really gonna know some sensitive men there because today we are talking about relationship men that you even didn't know that existed in terms of sensitivity 
because they just don't organize shirts together. Mm -hmm. They just don't organize um, suits together. It's clothes by color. Some people even decorate their wardrobes or closet more kali. Decorate. Decorate. They have the blue section here, the orange section here. They have the green section here. So they're going to have those green socks here. Everything according to color. You want that blue shirt? You want that blue blouse? You want that white pant? Is that like all socks together? All socks together by color. All shorts? <laughs> all together. shorts together by color. Oh my goodness. And you know, I think this is uh, very sensitive because even when you welcome me to your home, Matt, yes, I will not get into your bedroom. Exactly. It's the living room and it's what you want me to see. Because Precisely. Because the face value. Precisely. I will welcome you into my house, my living room, yes. my kitchen, but you will never know. So we are going deep today. We are really going deep We're today. Going deep. It's why you may allow anyone to walk around your home, yeah. but never, rarely, unless yeah. some few trusted friends, mm. rarely the closet, rarely the wardrobe. So it's why the area of focus is there, how you organize those clothes, because we are revealed to how you organize these 34,000 emotions. And Mwikali, by the way, you can even know a narcissistic person through how they organize their clothes. Oh, please, and not that's just what I want to know. <laughs> and toxic people in general. So it's not just in the workplace or how they talk verbally, uh -uh. it's how they organize their clothes. Because today we're going to look at those that have clothes that have not removed their labels, you buy them, but it still has that price tag. Why? Some people have sentimental clothes and organize their sentimental clothes. That means we are looking at generations. This is my dad co coats, dad's coat. Uh, this was my mother's sort of cardigan. And some people have very sentimental clothes. They r preserve them for the next generation. But the problem is if you keep them a lot, then you have holding um, issues you don't want to bless someone or give someone so you have a whole entire closet of holding sentimental clothes or holding um, s sort of uh, personality we have also those that keep clothes that are too tight for them too tight see i'll fit into them <laughs> one day that's the thing we want to <laughs> look into that <laughs> That was three years ago. I'm that still was, looking at it. It's still looking at yeah. it and you're saying, why is it still holding to it? Okay. Some people have baggy clothes. So we're going to look into that. Some people have designer clothes all through. There's nothing wrong with that. But God has blessed the work it. of your, your hands. hands. But uh, 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 we are looking at also people who may have the tendency of having logos all through, but could actually give a very shred uh, personality about hiding behind their own identity. These are the people potentially on the extreme. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having designer clothes. But on the extreme end, if you wear designer all through, then in your space, you might actually look down upon me if I'm really not matching up to your standard. Oh and there, this is where now we get to some toxicity that we are not really aware of. All that through how you handle or organize your clothes in that closet. You know, we're going to take a very short commercial break. Please start sending in your questions. You want to drop in a card. Yeah. Are you worried? Do you feel like he's too much? She's too much? Am I you? You're just okay with? I know where my phone is because it's under the white shirt that I saw two days ago under the bed, under a heap of clothes. <laughs> if you're those ones. Triple one, triple four, triple one. And you're not saying there's a particular right way to do this. Mm -hmm. You're just looking at how you do it and what that means. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Full Circle. We have Mac Mbugo in the building. We're talking about your closet today. How you arrange it or not arrange it. It could be a wardrobe, a sanduku, a suitcase. You could be pangaing them on the floor, a hanger, whatever it is. How you arrange them and what that means about your emotional intelligence. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Mwikali, I love how you introduced that because um, how you organize is actually the essential keyword. Um, and just to viewers who have just tuned in, we are talking about how you handle your EQ and what your closet has got to say about your emotional intelligence. Okay. There's a lot of um, issues we look into. We are looking at how you recognize emotions or identify them and how you manage them. So there are about two things. 
if you're the type that leaves clothes as they are, you know, Mwikali, we have got some people who they know where everything is. It's scattered, it's cluttered everywhere, but mm. they know. Unataka nini? Ah, kichano iko hapa, nini ngini unataka yo, white iko pale na pale. And we've got some mixed feelings with these people. Now, I know this is touching us on very different. Maybe they're those who are married, they're those who are not married. So, closet, we've got a lot of sentimental stuff that we are looking into. Mm. How we manage and recognize <coughs> these emotions. Some people really survive by that. It means that there is a high level of creativity, but you're not good at managing them. Mm. You can actually look at how you can take this and use it three other ways. You can, that clothes is right there because you can use four other avenues with it. And there are people who have everything for every outdoor activity that they have. So we are looking at different types of management. There okay. are people who have gears for everything. You talk about that running, jogging, they have a full gear for it. They don't mix. They don't mix their clothes. They don't mix their shoes. Everything has to have its gear for it. These are very specific people, which takes us back to how they handle their wrapper. But today we are really talking about how you manage your closet. So with this kind of particular people, these are the people that you're going to find they have, you know, they're those who organize their suits differently. Kuna hiyo koti na kuna hiyo troza. Na kuna waloneka koti peke yake and troza scandal and shirt scandal. This is a very deep layered form of organization. Okay. When you're addressing them, talking with them, they love things spread out first. These are the people you're going to hear. Bring everything on the table before we start engaging. I don't want surprises along the way. This is how I organize my emotions. Like we said earlier, Moikali, we have about 70,000 thoughts. We are questioning your organization. Otherwise, you will look scattered. Yeah. Then there are those who actually organize their clothes, like we said, according to color. This is a very rare form of, of, of organization. That means shirts are not just shirts or blouses just in the blouse section. No, yeah. according to color. This is a very high priority in terms of how they manage the informations or how they process information. They go or classify things according to priority. It's not that they didn't hear you. It's not that you are not going to address them according to emergency. They define what emergency is. They define what um, is important or not important. To them. To them. Yes, bring it all up, but I'll organize it according to priority. We'll address this issue today, that not today, perhaps tomorrow. These are the people who organize according to color. There's a very high form of sophistication. These are the same people, Mwikali, that depending on how deep layered they are, they have even almost multicolored <laughs> their closet. This is where you're going to find that blue has some layers These of category. They have got some shades for it. I put my blue socks here. I put my blue shirt or blouse here. Navy blue. Navy blue. Light blue. Light Sky blue. Sky blue. Precisely, Mwikali. These are people who organize according to shades. Are you telling me you're going to have an ordinary, ordinary, so, sorry, ordinary conversation with these people? Absolutely not. I don't not. think so. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. You are very precise on how you talk with these people. They've heard you. They have seen you. If it's a lady, she has precisely known where this conversation is going to begin. She's going to notice the things before you actually verbalize them. If he is a guy, that's why Mwikali said there are some sensitive guys to this level. You're going to find even shoelaces have their own section. Shoes have their own section. If it's white, we are talking about each color shade for it. Okay. These people are very sophisticated. So we are, we are seeing a very sophisticated person. Okay. Then we've got the sentimental clothes that I talked about. Mm. Too baggy sometimes, sometimes too tight. We have an issue. If you're that kind of person, we have an issue of self-reflection. Okay. We have an issue with self-image, how you see yourself. The reason why you can even organize that too baggy or too tight, there's an issue with self-reflection, which actually brings into what I talked about. When you have many logos, you're wearing many brands, nothing giving no room for your own identity, for your own creativity. If it's not branded or of a certain label, then it doesn't fit into your classification of how you view life. It's about positioning for you. Yeah. It talks about personality positioning, how you want your image positioned. So we lack your true identity. 
we lack to see your own way of doing things your own way. Okay. So that is what actually it says about generally about your personality. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> Couple of questions. Well, I see your questions, by the way. I hope you have enough time for that. Uh, hope, uh, I, 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 we will. We will try. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at, you mentioned people with toxic traits. Absolutely. How will their closet look like? Is there a direct way to answer that? Um, unfortunately, at times, for some toxic people, mm. you may not recognize that immediately because this is when, when you open up their closet, you see that there are sort of stains on some clothes that are not addressed. They are wearing, rewearing. They're they're just obvious stains that they're not addressing. Now you introduce to a lot of different or different categories of toxic people. We have also fake complimenters. Those are the top people. In fact, I want to talk about. We have about seven. If you open up the closet, but today I'm going to talk about maybe top three, fake complimenters. Precisely, you're going to find them uh, when it comes to those who wear brands. Mm. Those who wear brands or certain logos, or they have to define themselves with certain brands. When you are in their space, you will feel like you are losing. You are not up to their task. These are people who are going to begin, Mikali, you look good, but wow, what, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Niko, Conversations. Uh, Niko, <laughs> sure. Nilipatiwa na winyodande. <laughs> And you captured it, you know. Yeah. And you and you see how you, you reacted to it. You yeah. have to kind of check. Yes. You have to verify your own uh, self. Because they're already making you feel like they're already making you feel image wise insecure. Okay. Image wise insecure. Mm -hmm. So you'll never feel you are up to the task. Yeah. You are up to what is rolling and what is trending. And and for them, conversations, their vibe is around what's trending and do you have it? Okay. So there's those fake compliments that come. Yeah, you look good, but it would be better if you tried this kind of clothes. And you're going to see these fake co compliments coming along the way. Narcissism develops around that space. But it strongly comes with the IQ when it comes to business. Because there's a certain body language for that. There's a, there's a certain trade for that. If you are not clothed in this way, and it's not a matter of clothes. It's the quality of the clothes. So when it drops down to become the quality of the clothes, yeah, I know you're wearing, but what kind of texture are we talking about here? What kind of suit are we talking about here? Because they are this different, and they make you feel overpowered. Yes, you're dressed, yes, but it's quality. So you start questioning again yourself yeah. in terms of quality. Do I wear what actually matters? And now this is when you're going to see your clothes are filled up with now the logos, the brands, to represent the quality that you feel is acceptable. Then we have the pessimist person. These are the top three that I want to talk about. Pessimistic people, people who act victim all the time. I don't think I have this. I don't think I'm in this way. These people act victim already. You can mash up anything to look good, but you always have an excuse of why you look. These are the people who have these corner eyes. They're really going to look, survey the room to see whether they fit in. They can even walk out just because they feel they, will, they are not socially acceptable. So we have a self-critical person here okay. and a pessimistic person. Yes. All this is self-inflicted. You come in, size up, I think I really do not fit here, and we have that complexity of inferiority. Okay. So that complexity <coughs> becomes a very high-layered um, sort of um, um, insecurity, and then you walk away. So if this is coming um, from a level of relationship-wise, this is where now we really need to look into and have some huge focus because some relationships, you may be pressured to keep up the pace. Okay. It's about EQ, emotional intelligence. <sighs> yeah. Mark, we have many questions. I'm ready. You're good? I'm good. Great. Hi. <coughs> I am Hi, Murkali and Mark. I'm the type... With clothes, with lots of clothes, I love hanging and folding them always. But depends on moods. I can do that, but sometimes it's a massive emergency and just leave them. Hi, neighbor. Uh, my personality <laughs> nigani. <laughs> let's personality nigani, yo. Let's look at hoarding. Hoarding is the main thing. When yes. you have all these clothes fitting in, I also see a sense of creativity with you. Mm -hmm. If you can manage to do that, 
within your closet space, mm -hmm. I see a lot of creativity, but layered under holding scenario. Okay. You need to know when to let go. Okay. There needs to be, that, that means there's a long term season where you don't self reflect yourself. Okay. You're in motion, you're in rhythm, and that's great. But to yourself, self organize yourself. I'm seeing a lack of selflessness on your end that you need to give room to yourself. Such kind of holding when you know y there are dates when you organize, but you really do not self reflect. I think that needs to be critical. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Mikali. Say hi to Mike and ask him what it means to pack clothes in a suitcase according to the type. E.g., t shirts together, dresses together, trousers together. Because Hakuna wardrobe ya kupanga. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying hi, hi back. And I think when you have a suitcase, everything is layered according to what fits into that suitcase. I want to see what kind of color goes where. Because now there are two avenues, like we said. Organization is one. But if you organize according to color, but since you said that m perhaps hakuna your closet could fit in mm. Mambo, do you know that you have a very high level of emotional honesty? Do you know that's what matters to you when in terms of personality? For you, what matters most is emotional honesty. Atakama, we are going through a bump in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Do we have everything first before we discuss? Okay. It's a good trait, but work on those elements. Awesome. Hey, Mukali. Hi. I keep clothes everywhere and I never go shopping. You keep clothes everywhere? And you never go shopping. Let's begin with the first one. Because never going to shopping, that really does not matter. Because yes. there are people who are inventive with the clothes that they have. But the fact that you leave everything everywhere. What's the obvious sign is that you leave so much unattended to. What's the issue is I'm seeing a high level of insecurity with you. There's so much that you do not attend to yourself. Creative people are likely to behave in that way. Leaving everything everywhere. They've got this processing ideas, but never actualize. But for you, it's about insecurity. Now, this is a common thing that everyone works at. Everyone is just trying to work on themselves. But for you, as it's unattended. We all have our in, own insecurities, which we are trying to conquer. But yours is unattended, which means there's a strong layer to attend to your issues. Do attend to yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have less than 10 minutes, I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I put my clothes in order of fabric, e.g. Wow. chiffon, cotton, etc. Wow. Then according to type, blouses, short dresses, long dresses, etc. What does this say about my emotional capacity? Your emotional capacity is that you have a huge tolerance and your EQ is well positioned. You actually involve every other EQ of other individuals, people close to you. That means you're very good at managing. Did I hear that she organizes according to even whether it's cotton, yes. whether it's it's chiffon? I'm telling you, that is a very high level of EQ. However, your standards are pretty high. People need to understand that a deep layered EQ because you're good at recognizing emotions mm -hmm. and you're good at identifying emotions. The problem is people have not understood this as a skill in you. Okay. Because you're very good at identifying issues when they happen and what people are hiding. Really, people hide around you because you kind of know issues. That's why you're that specific. See how you handle it? So you need to explain yourself. Okay. Hi, Mukali. My man. You're his man. Yes. Doesn't even arrange them. And when I do it myself, he will still rearrange. <laughs> what category is he? <laughs> So we're going to begin with what category is he uh -huh. and your category. Okay. Number one, definitely he needs to work on his emotions. But one thing I'm, I'm loving about you is your personality compatibility. Okay. That tells me that he can be as vulnerable or himself. This unmanagement from his side, it means that there's a, an unspoken trust with you mm. to manage. Okay. He's unmanageable, okay. so to speak. Okay. People like those or people like that or personalities like that tend to leave things as they are because they trust your EQ capacity, your personality compatibility to handle themselves. The problem is that you're straining. Okay. You need sometimes to leave things a bit to create conversation. But it says something unusual about you. Tolerance. Your your okay. personality compatibility is working out really, really good. Kudos. 
Okay. Uh, what what uh, do you have a timestamp for that? Nine uh, twenty eight. We have an interesting question okay. here for you. Ah, uh, here we go. Good morning. Can I change my personality by adopting a specific arrangement? You cannot adopt a personality by changing your routine. Okay. These things are behavioral. Remember, it's about your EQ. Mm -hmm. If there is a change, normally we give it around twenty one days. It's what you will change is your order of how you set things not your personality change it's your organizational change not a personality personality takes time it's probably hardwired so by the time is that n essentially what we are saying is that you'll have a proper way of organizing your emotions you'll have a proper way of organizing your eq which means a healthier iq and which means a better personality okay yeah hi mix the gift I'd like to know, uh, I always plan the clothes um, um, to wear for the week. So if it's Wednesday and I don't know what I will wear on Friday, I feel unsettled. Gift number one is that your intelligence works by planning. There has to be an outward plan for your functioning. An outward plan for your functioning. That's why you know what you're wearing before the D-Day. Just in case that routine does not work according to how you plan, that's why you say now stress comes in. Mm -hmm. And if you do not know what you're going to wear on Friday, as you said, now you start having this anxiety. Basically, you're just trying to say we need to address the anxiety in your life. Okay. But what I love about you is that things work according to first. Let me have a plan before we discuss. That's how you face life. If it comes into relationships, we need the plan before we dive in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, hi, Mukali and Mac. Good show as always. I'm Joel watching from Wall of Prayer Garden. I think they, they tuned in last week as well. That's good. With Judy and the whole Kangeves family. Wow. Thank, fans you. Wako. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And some um, two people here. The husband, uh, the husband's clothes are separate from the wife's, but the hobbies are well organized. But the wife see folded, but in closed spaces. Wife wants to change to match up but just gets busy and forgets, please help. <laughs> we are having two sets of closet here. Yes. And I'm, I'm liking that you have a proper view of what's happening on your own side. Yeah. Because if you share a closet, you are like, unlikely to identify what you need to work on. Yes. People who share closets, sometimes we never know. We can't if we were to have one closet, would argue, these are your clothes, you're the one who does it. So our argumentative um, sort of compatibility is not telling us what we need to work on separately, okay. like we discussed on the previous show. Mm -hmm. So now that you have separate closet, we know now who's organized, we know how they organize. You have also your own set of organization, but as you're saying, it's not as organized as yes. the husbands. Mm -hmm. So you, you work by processing, I need things in a clutter, I know how to organize myself. So you, ch you take huge huge chunks of information okay you process it on your own that's what your closet is saying your hobby is very different when information comes in gradually okay i take in that's the coat that's the shirt everything is organized so if you're addressing me please everything has got to be laid out well for you it may come in once and you may clutter it in your clo in your closet, as it says. So it's about processing of information, how information comes in, mm -hmm. and how you process it. So my area of help in this number one is to identify how you receive information. Okay. You need to work a lot on your EQ, because if we are trying to solve things, mm -hmm. it means that he will handle it one day at a time and yeah. get it out there. Okay. You may hold it for a little bit longer, okay. but eventually we'll achieve the same goal which is right. a good thing. One more question. I think that's all the time we have now. Uh, huh, Ikoapi, mm, where are you? Oh, morning, Mikali. As for me, I mm -hmm. sana kukunja sana. Even before I was married, my mom used to leave her clothes there because she knew I wouldn't leave those clothes there. I hate to see disorganized clothes, even house, nakupasa nguo. And then comes my hubby, very disorganized <laughs> buyer. Like yesterday, I left with the baby to go to town. <laughs> what does our emotional intelligence mean? The emotional intelligence in this relationship is number one, the man needs to know yeah. the kind of wife he has. Mm -hmm. This is where we have to stoop low 
and work on our emotional intelligence as men. Okay. Because we have a hard wired attribute from the lady. Okay. Kitambo, mama ke alikuwa namuonesha hivi. Mm. So we have this deep layered. So as a teen, they loved things in a certain way. As a young adult, they loved things in a certain way. And now in their journey of adulting, now that they are married, you can see this lady handles information. She manages her emotions very well. The error that can come in is when the man comes in and just at, comes in from a different angle. There's an issue with, with communication on how you process your emotion. That's what we are getting from the lady. Definitely your EQ works like this. A lot will be unattended to, unfortunately, unless the man knows. But I love how your EQ works. It just says that something of, uh, of how you handle your emotions is through conversation. Organization just makes you feel you go higher. Okay, yeah. okay. Do you have time for one more? <laughs> just one more. Hi, okay. Kali, I'm that guy who will have uh, coats and then long sleeve shirts then short sleeves shirts, so short sleeves shirts. Yes. In that order. So coats, long, sle long sleeve, short, short sleeve. sleeve. In that order, kwahangas za stand. I get really anxious when that order is not followed. Yes. And I have been blaming my crazy OCD. I get, I actually get angry. Yes. When I'm to have a e.g. jeans na khaki, <laughs> yes. t-shirts na vest, etc. <laughs> These are the breed of men that we are talking about today, Mwikali. The men of ha having his own closet, yes. like we answered the earlier question, yes. and the men who handle their clothes in that way. Uh, bro, it's, it's not really about OCD. It's not yet OCD. It's just that disorganization just gets the better out of you. Okay. It's the irritation we are looking at. Look for irritative things or from people. That's what it says about you. I guess I'm going to answer you later. Okay, you've seen end. my time is really up. Yes. Uh, please direct all your questions to Mark. Absolutely. Uh, you do this for them all the time. Yes, I do. Social media handles. That is YouTube, Mark Mbogwa. In Instagram, that is Mark underscore Mbogwa. In Facebook, Mark Mbogwa. And in Twitter, at Gifted Purpose. Thank you, people. Great. We're going to take a very short commercial break. When we come back, I step out with the Decaplo Fitness Gang and we do some cardio boxing workouts. So don't go too far, that will come up after the break.